Hello everybody, my name is Luigi and I am an exercise physiologist. Shortly, we will be talking about the anatomy of the heart. The heart is about the size of your fist and weighs between 200 and 400 grams and is located between the lungs in the middle of the chest. The heart is enclosed by a membrane called pericardium. The middle layer of the heart walls consist of a spontaneously contracting muscle called myocardium. The endocardium represents the inner layer of the heart and is composed of connective and epithelia tissue. The heart consists of four chambers, two atria and two ventricles. Divided by the septum. The heart can be considered as a pump. The left side propels blood to the body via the systemic circulation and the right side propels blood to the lungs through the pulmonary circulation. The heart has four unidirectional valves, meaning one-way valves. Two are located between the atria and the ventricle, the tricuspid valve on the right side of the heart and the mitral valve on the left side, respectively. The two semilunar valves sit between the left ventricle and the aorta artery and between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, respectively. All the heart valves are extremely important as they prevent backflow of blood, ensuring that the blood circulates in the right direction. Even though the heart is essentially a pump, nonetheless it is a very special one and its contraction is coordinated through a network, the electrical conduction system. This electrical conduction system include the sinoatrial node, the atrioventricular node and the bundle of these, and ensures that the heart propels blood around the body efficiently. In conclusion, the heart is a complex organ and acts as a pump, but very efficient one, propelling blood around the body. Thank you for watching and if you would like to contact me, both my email and website address are now appearing on the screen. Thanks and bye for now.